Hey guys, I am here to film another haul video for you. I'm sorry if you are tilted. I have been trying to fix my camera for like 15 minutes now before this video. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, oh dear God, I'm just going to go ahead and start for you guys. This is a bit of a collective haul. I have quite a few different things from quite a few different places that I went to. So, um, some of this is actually from my Nana. It's some Christmas decorations and some of this is from Dollar Tree. I have, um, something from Goodwill and Rue 21. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing is this little container. I put my beauty blenders in here. This was the plan. This is from, um, Dollar Tree and I just thought this was perfect to hold all my beauty sponges because it keeps the dust out of there and stuff like that. Obviously once when they dry, when they're actually drying, I'm going to go ahead and leave them out so they don't like get gross in here. But, um, this is just a plastic container and I found it at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It looks like it's glass, but it's not, but I just thought this was perfect and it looks really nice on my vanity too. So I got that one and I also got another one, um, for Christmas DIYs. Um, and I mean, whatever holiday you could, I mean, you could put whatever you want in here. You could put candy in here, but I think I'm going to do a little DIY project for, um, this little container, but this is what it looks like empty. So I got that there. And I also got two of these wine glasses. This is going to be another DIY project that I have in mind. Now these are huge. I don't know if these are actually for wine, but they are really big. They're the biggest ones that I could find. And I'm going to go ahead and do a DIY with this one. So, yeah, I got two of those. And that's it for that bag. Then I picked up a pack of batteries just because I needed some. I've already used some. So, yeah, just picked up the eight pack of batteries, double A. And then I got... Um, these little ornaments for the tree this year, these are just some candy canes, and they had rainbow colored ones, but I liked the traditional red and white. So I grabbed those, and I also grabbed this little bouquet filler. This is just um, a glittery bouquet. Gold, they had um, silver, and I don't, I think red, and I'm not sure what other color. Um, then I got this little little glittery poinsettias. They're just really small gold ones. Um, a lot of this floral I'm going to use for a wreath that I'm going to DIY. So, yeah. And then I found this 15-foot um, garland, which is just plain. But I'm going to add some embellishments to it, of course. That's another reason why I've been buying a lot of floral and a lot of uh, ornaments. Because I'm going to do a lot of DIY projects. And then I also got these ornaments, which I thought were really cute. They're just white glitter and they're like stars. Um, I got these gold berries. I got these ornaments which are just the um, violin which I thought were really pretty gold. And then I got these ornaments which are just the gold bows. And then I also saw that they had the red so I picked the red up as well. So I'm sure those will be for DIY projects as well. So yeah. Um, so the glitter just encompassed my entire freaking area here. Oh well, is what it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was that. The next place I went to, oh, you know what? I also got this from Dollar Tree. This is a, supposed to be like a wreath, but it's obviously just a wire. Ow! That hit me right in the eye. It's just a wire, uh, a metal wreath, I'm sorry. And it's supposed to like make it to where you can put um, like garland through it or whatever. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill my boyfriend. Um, sorry if you heard like super loud music, um, or like, you know, poinsettias, whatever you want to put in here. So I'm like irritated cause he just blasts 
just hit that music. Anyway, so Rue 21, I went there <coughs> to return some perfumes because I realized I already had them and they're like, oh, you can only exchange, which is bullshit because it doesn't say that on the receipt. You know, and I didn't even use them, so that was annoying. Um, so yeah, she kind of like talked me into getting some more perfumes. And then I got another one because, I mean, they all smell good. So I ended up getting Runway 21 by Rue 21, and this is what it looks like. This is just the box. And then this is what the scent looks like. It smells really good. And I'm really glad I got this one. Like, ugh, I've been spraying it, like, since I left. Oh, my God. It just smells so good. So I really do like this one. Then I also grabbed Etc. That's what the box looks like. Sorry, I'm trying to see what people are doing outside. They're, like, near my car, and I don't like it. Um, This one smells okay. It's nice and fruity. I like it. It's actually kind of cute. And... Then I have this one called Revert Eco by Rue 21. And I got this one because I was like, this smells really good. It's like a nice fresh scent. So if you're not into like the girly, typical, like girly, fruity scents, then I'd recommend that one. Um, okay. So I went to Goodwill. And I got this beautiful tree, and I really liked it. Um, I just thought it was gorgeous with the glitter and such. It's very, like, woodland type. And then it's got an electronic light. Now, I put batteries in here. They take three AA batteries. And this is gorgeous. You probably can't see because the light is on, but, oh, my God, this is so beautiful. It's got, like, mini lights in there and it's just stunning so I can't wait to put this out for Christmas um I ended up actually getting this because the tag was ripped off when I got to the register um I ended up getting it for $1.99 because the manager said um just go ahead and give it to her for $1.99 so and then I found out that it had like a yellow like a yellow uh like swipe through it so he gave it to me for half price so I paid 99 cents for this yes so I was so excited, um, and I'm still excited about it. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what my Nana gave me for Christmas, um, like Christmas stuff. So one of these things is this wax um, thing, and it doesn't look like that much. It's got a light in it, and it's just got a Christmas tree design on the front. But this is kind of meaningful to me because it was my aunt's and she did pass away. And I don't know if she made this or what, but it does have a little light switch and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and light it up for you guys. Um, <laughs> good Lord. Getting old, guys. But I just thought it was really pretty. It's like almost like a globe type thing, and it's just really pretty. And I'm going to wrap some garland around it and put some really pretty like ornaments around it and stuff. So it doesn't look so plain, but I just thought it was really pretty, and I love stuff that lights up for Christmas. So... I do like that a lot. Um, so I have that. And she also gave me this, which is really pretty. And it means a lot to me. This is just one of those like little dolls that I had when I was little. And she said I could put it as a tree topper. It's just like a very like vintage-y doll that she bought. Um, this is not one she made, but she usually does make the dolls that I had when I was little but this is on an ornament string so I will probably put this on my tree just because it's very sentimental kind of thing um, not because I'm like in love with the hair or anything but you know what I'm saying then she also gave me this nutcracker she's getting older to where she doesn't um, decorate for Christmas or holidays anymore so um, she went ahead and just gave me a lot of her stuff that she had and, oh shit, and she gave me this bag that is full of goodies. Oh, and it's so heavy. So she gave me 
this really pretty Santa and he lights up as well. He's just a ceramic Santa. You can paint him, but nobody ever painted him and I actually really like the way he looks white. Um, I just think he's really pretty and he's got some little elves there. So I don't know if you can see. But that's what he looks like and he's got a light switch so I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. So that's what he looks like. Oops. That's what he looks like lit up. He's so cute. You probably can't really see too well because the lighting. But if I turn off the light, he's like a really cute, even like a night light for Christmas. I just thought he was so damn cute. So I was happy to get him. And then she gave me this toilet seat cover, which I will probably not use, but it's really cute. She made it and it's just got like Santa on one side where the, when the lid is up and then when the lid is down it's just got his face but I probably won't use that because I'm not into decorating the bathrooms or anything for Christmas uh, at least not yet so. and then she gave me this little angel to hang on my tree and this one here as well I think she made those not sure but um ooh shit then she gave me this ceramic um white and silver tree with Santa on it and it's just a candle holder so I'm gonna put a tea light in there um, and then she gave me this for my stocking which she has um, but she has to put my name on it she has made it like forever ago but she I think she gave mine away to somebody in my family and I don't know who has it but um she gave me a new one and she's just got to put like the sequins above my name or on my stocking. So yeah, I'm going to use this to hold that stocking. And then she gave me all these. Now these are stocking holders as well. I forget what they're called. Um, but I'm just going to use these for decoration mainly because I've only got me and Steven for Christmas this year. So he's just a gorgeous, um, a gorgeous, um, snowman. So pretty. He's got so much detail and it says on the bottom that she got this from factory card outlet for $7.99 and they're really heavy and nice quality. So I got that one. Then I got... This one, which is, I think, another snowman. Yep. Uh, this one's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I hope you can see. I know with the white, it's kind of hard to tell. But, yeah. She's got some really cute detailing. And... I got this one which is so cute and it's got a Christmas tree a, um, a baby snowman a little penguin and a big snowman so cute Oops, sorry and the last one she gave me is a Santa and he's got like some really cute detail his little gifts in his bag and stuff he's just beautiful so and he's like mid in coming out of the chimney which I thought was so cute so I love this Yay. and then the last thing that I have here for you guys is another thing that she gave me that is so meaningful to me. It is so gorgeous. And she said she never used it before, which I find crazy. I think my thing shifted, so I'm sorry. But um, this is a musical water globe. And it's this collector's edition. I don't even know where she got this from, but it is beautiful. It's still in the box. She had never touched it. It is huge. 
and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You guys are going to die. Oh God, it's so heavy too. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Dude, this is probably like, this was probably like $50. Okay. So could you see this? I mean, this is stunning. It's got... snow flurries in there and the detail on this alone is just so flipping beautiful so this part right here moves and it is musical so when you turn it We wish you Merry Christmas plays and this turns down here. So, I thought that was beautiful. So anyway, while that goes, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.